In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a issue with narrated PowerPoints being converted to movies that I've been dealing with. And that is the issue where when it is converted into a video, no matter how long the narration is on each slide, it auto advances after like a standard five seconds. And so it's clipping off narration. Um, after doing a lot of digging, I found the answer to this and I'm going to share it with you in this video. So the answer to fixing this in your PowerPoint, and again, this is going to work for both Mac and PC is to go to the transitions tab. Now I should also say that this is assuming you have already gone to the slideshow area and you've actually recorded the slideshow. You have to do that first. Um, once you've done that, to double check that you're not gonna have this issue of the, like the five seconds and cutting things off, you're gonna go to your transitions tab and you're gonna look at this area here on the right hand side. Um, this one is set up to work properly because, and I can tell because there's a checkbox here and in after it's got kind of a specific time frame. What you will see if this is not going to work is you'll see this unchecked and you'll either see like zero zero or a very standard like 5.0 seconds there. Um, if you see that, then you know that you're going to need to add in a, a length. And what you're seeing in this box is the number of seconds that it's going to stay on each this slide before going to the next one. And that also means it's the duration of the narration that you've already recorded. So how do you know what that duration is? Let's say you do have to check this. It was set at zero. Um, it wasn't checked. You have to add it in. How do you know what that duration is? Well, here's how you can find it. At the bottom of your slide, you're gonna see this little audio icon. And if I hover my mouse over it, so I haven't clicked yet, I hover my mouse over it, it gives me this little player window. Now you may have to click into the slide to get this slider, but basically either by clicking into it or hitting play, now I can move my mouse over the slider and move it to the very end. And the very last time that pops up, I would suggest adding like a half a second onto that amount of time and putting that number here in the box. So like I'm seeing here 17.85, I would round that up. I think the original number here was like 17.9. If I was doing it manually, I'd round up to like 18.10 seconds or 18.20. Um, just to give you a little bit of extra wiggle room, it's going to be better to have like an extra half a second of silence rather than cutting something off. So go down here to the little icon, hover your mouse over it, click on it and move the mouse until you can see that timestamp come up. You don't have to actually play it, you just have to find the timestamp. And then take that number, round it up by roughly a half a second, um, or round it up to the nearest second or something, there's not an exact science there, but round it up to a little bit, type that number here in the after, then you're going to want to repeat that process for every slide. Unless you know exactly that all of your narrations are the same length, which is probably not the case, you are going to have to go in and click on every slide and do that same process. So make sure the after box is checked, hover over the icon and find out how many seconds and then round up. And then when you go ahead and go to export your PowerPoint, your narrated PowerPoint as a video, so I'm gonna go export, and I'm doing this on a Mac, the PC interface looks just a little bit different, but on a Mac you have the option to pick your, your option here, and then you definitely wanna keep that checked. Um, as a sidebar, when you're getting the like five seconds a slide, it's coming from here. And it, what's happening is because it, you did, we didn't have that after box checked, PowerPoint is just taking that five and cutting off your narration after five seconds. So at any rate, once you've done that, you hit export, you're going to have a video that works with the proper timings, um, with the link that you have specified when you manually typed it in. Hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully it helps you if you're having a similar issue. If you have questions, definitely let me know with an email or a comment below and have a good day.